training with your back was here's we're talking about just learning lessons with coach before you guys walked in. What what did you learn tonight about postseason basketball that like, you wouldn't have known if you hadn't played the game? The intensity is a lot higher. Um taking care of the ball, getting a good shot every possession. Um just knowing time and score, trying to get stops. I mean, I learned a lot from this game. Um, I told you the other night, the last time we played Brooklyn, it felt like a, a playoff game. So, I mean, I got kind of acclimated to this one uh, from the last one. So um, just another experience for us. Um, just watch the film and try to get better and get one Friday. As a team, you guys won all final three quarters of that one. Um, Cut it to five, you know, in the fourth. Did you go to a different place, like individually in the fourth quarter? Um, no, we just tried to just keep them um, the competitive spirit up. Um, try to defend a lot more physical and a lot more harder on on the defensive end. Um, and then, like I said, just try to get good quality shots in the office and just take care of the ball. And then, Kevin, for you, was that first quarter deficit, do you think, just too hard to overcome? You know, obviously, you guys won the final fourth quarter. Or what did you – what was your biggest success? Yeah, I think that was it. Just uh, collectively throughout the first 12 minutes, uh, just getting at the deficit uh, that we were at um, after that quarter, being down 20 to a team that has such, um, you know, so much firepower and – um, you really have to play well against on the defensive end to give yourself a shot. But, you know, the last three quarters, like you said, we that we played really well on the defensive end. Um, there were some things on, on the offensive end and we wish we could have back in that first half, but that we played well on that end. It just was too much uh, for us to have to dig back, um, always pushing it to, you know, 14, 12, 10 points, and then they go on a little run and push it back. It just – it was a little bit too much for us in the end, but um, I think there's a lot of good takeaways for us, uh, you know, when it, when we go back home and, um, you know, play a game that gives us a shot to, you know, win and get in. Were you impressed by Evan Mobley's composure for rookie in this game? Yeah, no, I think it was a, a great experience for, um, you know, a lot of guys to, including DG, to get their, their first you know, feel of what playoff basketball uh, is and 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 what it will be like. So, you know, Ev just has that quiet confidence about him. Um, he lets everything come to him. Um, you know, he doesn't force anything. So, uh, again, I think it was a good experience for him and a big chance for him to to get that experience and get better. Kelsey, you're the athletic. Darius, for you, um, you've heard the first nine points in that fourth quarter. Um, JB said that he's had conversations with you throughout the season about just like becoming more aggressive and like do so in games. How have you continued to hone that throughout the season and, and use that tonight? Because I'm just trying to pick my spots. Um, I know Kyrie and Bruce Brown had four fouls for a long time, so um, we were just trying to get the mismatch and just try to attack them and try to get downhill, and that's what it was. Um, they weren't trying to foul. So it was just getting easy buckets at that point. What was, how helpful was it to play alongside Rondo um, and just his better experience in, in these moments, especially with the coach, how did you were facilitating and kind of running the floor? Yeah, it was good. Um, I mean, though, he just sees the game a uh, couple of steps ahead. So uh, we all just have to be on our toes. Um, he's all, you got to just expect different passes and different actions with Doe. So, it was fun just just playing with him a little bit, and uh, especially with K Love in the game, a lot of mismatches, and he always seeks the mismatches. So it was it was a good couple minutes and a good couple run with Doe. And then Kevin, for you, um, I mean, going off experience, building off the experience aspect of it, so you coming in, um, bringing that. How can this be sort of like you know, come to? What are you doing? What are you doing, children? That's a blooper. Yeah, man, like, yo, would you would you take the top off for me? You would let me. Oh, you're crazy. That's crazy. Yo, I'm soaking. Man, look at this. DJ. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> how can, I guess, like, how did you see guys become more comfortable um, throughout the game? I guess, you know, like, through that first quarter, but, like, through the rest of the three, um, 
and then and how important that is in these playoff games, finding that comfortability. Yeah, no, I think it was, I mean, really a lot like last time, even that, that we played them. I thought even in the first quarter, we did a really good job of, of, you know, taking it to them, putting them on their heels and getting to the, the, the bonus pretty early. It was just, you know, they got hot, they shot a high percentage um, and 40 points is just too, too much um, coming out of the gates and, and 20, I mean, honestly is, is too little. We just didn't have much going on the offensive end. Uh, in that first half, only 43 points, but, you know, we were able to to pick it up. But again, just that that deficit was something that, you know, we can't dig ourselves a hole like that. Um, you know, so come, what do we play, Friday? Yeah, come Friday, we just, you know, out of the gate, we have to, you know, have a emphasis on both sides of the ball, but to 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 really lock in on that defensive end and, and, and let that dictate what we do on the offensive end. Chris, Chris Vidor, Cleveland Not Count. Darius, for you, how much more open did the court feel for you in the second half? Um, it wasn't open. It was we had mismatches. Uh, Kyrie had four fouls. Bruce Brown had four fouls, and those were the two guys that was guarding me most of the time. So just trying to be aggressive. Uh, made a couple shots. Um, we all made a couple shots, and um, that was that was the game. That was it. And then Kevin, you mentioned that there were some positives that you guys can take away from from this game. What were those? I mean, I honestly think the the last uh, again the last three quarters there were there were some times where we beat ourselves uh, throughout the entire game. Uh, take away the the first quarter, um, you know, there were opportunities for us to to you know kind of learn on the fly and and, and clean it up. In I mean, obviously the the dynamics of of who we're going to play on Friday will be different than in this game, but in, in terms of you know us locking in on the defensive end and not beating ourselves. Um, you know, I think that that'll be key, but I think offensively uh, exploiting the mismatches, as DG said, playing, you know, downhill, playing with pace, um, you know, and, and winning every quarter from the second quarter on, I think was a, a major positive for us. But again, those guys were rolling. Kyrie hit, you know, 12 for 15. Uh, KD still had his typical 25, but, um, you know, we just dug ourselves too big of a hole and, you know, played three good quarters and that one, uh, First quarter was the one that really got us. So I, I do think there was a lot to take away uh, that was positive and as well as everybody getting experience. But uh, we just got to be ready to go Friday on our home floor. Uh, Kevin, it seemed like in that second quarter. seemed like in that second quarter that you could kind of sense that the team needed a lift and you were almost trying to pull an injury on the younger guys. Is that the case? Uh, I think it was uh, between myself and, and, and Doe, just keeping everybody together. Um, this team, like I say, we don't, we don't necessarily need that too much, but in this, you know, type of a situation, whenever everything's so heightened, we just wanted to make sure that in, in every huddle that, that we were there, we were talking, um, you know, continuing the communication, but these guys are professionals. Um, you know, it wasn't just us. It was, it was really everybody just having an open dialogue. And, uh, when that happens, it's incredibly healthy, you know, like good or bad, just people learning from it. And, you know, having those conversations is, is, is key. And you've seen, uh, the arena go nuts. Uh, what are you expecting on Friday? That's it. I mean, we, we're going to need that, um, you know, what, 23,000 plus on our side. We're going to need that, that place buzzing. So, um, you know, I'm so used to calling it the queue, but, you know, Rocket Mortgage is, uh, we got to fill that place out. We got to have the fans, you know, having our back. And I know that they will. In the final three quarters today, give you guys confidence going into Friday? I think so. Um, you know, get out of here, get our rest, um, watch the game tomorrow, and then, you know, have a proper game plan, which I know we will, uh, and we'll be ready to go for Friday. Thanks, PJ. I got to ask you guys: Did you fold the stat line on uh, on the box score on Kyrie's line? We'll never tell. Okay. Hey. Um, no, we didn't. Gotcha. Hey, Kevin. I, I folded over Darius's stat line. <laughs>
you've uh kevin you've seen Kyrie do that before um was part of you like oh here we go when you see him knock down like the first 12 jumpers yeah i always say about Kyrie in a in a you know march madness one game type of situation he's a tough guy to to to, to bet against um you know again seen this movie before but you know still i i, I think that um you know, there's just times where he comes out and, you know, plays out of his mind. And that's, you know, why he's a, a future Hall of Famer. So you just kind of have to tip your hat to him. He's hit some really tough contested shots today. KD always, but, you know, being 6'11", him shooting right over you is a different story. But, um, you know, between DG and Kyrie, they hit some shots where you just shake your head and you just say, you know, no matter what kind of defense you play, they they make it work. Thanks, man. Marla, right now, our Akron Beacon Journal. Yeah, Kevin, this is probably better for you to answer. Just with, with the way Kevin and Kyrie were playing, though, how did you feel like the guys handled, you know, like they weren't awestruck and watching? It It did seem like they were, you know, relatively unfazed, is, so to speak. Would you agree? Yeah, I think so. Um, and we we were really putting pressure on them. We were making Kyrie and, and, and KD work. Um, you know, as DG said, Kyrie had – five fouls for, you know, a, a good chunk of the second half, um, you know, but he was, you know, able to, to, to stay on the floor and, and, you know, be incredibly effective. Um, and, you know, KD kind of same thing. We were trying to make the other guys beat us, get the ball out of their hands. But again, easier said than done um, against two guys that, you know, have put in, you know, 10 plus 14, 15 plus years of work. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ashley Bastock, Cleveland.com. Uh, for either of you guys, I guess after that first quarter offensively, did it feel like um, you were maybe settling into the game more as a group and maybe taking less rushed looks? You got a big bet. Me? I just, I just answered three in a row. You've done this before. Uh, I'm sorry. The question was, did we <laughs> did, did you guys feel like offensively after the first quarter, you settled into the game a little more that the looks were becoming less rushed and, and everything? Yeah, we were making that emphasis as well as, uh, again, I always talk about us, um, you know, miss or make just setting our defense. We did a you know, only scored 17 points in that in that second quarter. Um, you know, I know that we, you know, made up some ground. Um, but it was really the uh, uh, you know third and fourth quarter where we pushed and and and, and came back. So I do feel like we settled in um, at at the very le least uh, on the defensive end. But we were getting good looks. You know, mm -hmm. we we were hitting. You know, we had a lot of open jump shots. A lot of times that we were getting in the paint, creating for others. A lot of drop off passes. Um, you know, that were there. Open looks in the paint that were there. We just weren't knocking them down. But um, again, I'll, I'll take those looks uh, any single day because you know, in a, in a type of a situation like this or a playoff type situation, um, you know, people are game planning. They're, they're taken away from, you know, different tendencies that you'd like to get to. And, you know, if you can get those type of shots, I'll take those. Thanks guys. Last one, Chris Dawson. Hello guys. Chris Dawson says the English. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Darius, it's one and done game on Friday for you. How important is it to bring your best basketball, both you personally and the whole team and, what was the biggest lesson of the fourth quarter tonight, of first quarter tonight? Um, just try to bring that same intensity as we did in the second, third, and the fourth quarter. Um, just watch the film and just see what we did wrong and just take the stuff that we did right into the game Friday. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, guys.